The sanctuary is the most important chamber in any temple in Egypt, for it's considered the private room of the god in his house. Only the king and the high priest are allowed to enter this sacred chamber that lies at the end of the central axis of the temple. All the rituals performed here revolves around the main god or goddess who resides in his nose in the sanctuary. It was called in ancient Egyptian Setweret or the Grand Throne, which is the same name of the King's Throne, each crowned in his place, where worshipping rituals and offerings are presented. In the middle of the sanctuary, a base or altar was placed for the rest of the Naos or the sacred bark where the golden statue of the god is placed. It was considered a secret bigger than all the secrets of the world and the nether world and more hidden than the dwellers of the eternal world. So it has to be sealed and placed in its private dark room. This statue was the center of the daily services of the temple. The scenes on the walls of Isis Temple's Holy of the Holies are connected with the resurrection story of Osiris and the sacrifice of his son Horus with his eye fighting in his honor. Here, he is seen held by his wife goddess Isis who spreads her wings to protect him. Meanwhile, he presents Horus with an eye, substituting his lost eye. Isis is represented suckling her son twice. Once she's sitting down with the baby Horus over her laps and another time standing up with him in his baby form with a hair lock on the side of his head. In other scenes, Isis cries hard beside Osiris' coffin while Anubis, the mummification god, stands above it. The side rooms have reliefs of Osiris' cult and his resurrection and an enormous number of offerings presented to him. So in the sanctuary and its attached rooms lies the core of the mythology of Isis, Osiris and Horus, where she recorded the story of one of the most important religions in ancient Egypt. <laughs>